Today's video, I will show you how to mount a quarter turn gear onto a lever operated ball valve. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button. Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you Everything Valves. Thank you for everyone supporting this channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe for more valve videos. So here we have a floating ball valve with a T-bar and a pipe or lever operator. So we're going to start with removing the pipe or lever from the T-bar. Looking at the T-bar, there are two set screws here. The top one is for the lever, the bottom one is for the stem. We're going to loosen it and pull the T-bar off of the stem. This is the T-bar here. This is your stem. We're going to remove the lock ring here, which holds down your stop plate. This is your lock ring here. Here's your stop pin or bolt. Now this is your actual stop plate, which we will pull off. And here at the bottom you have the thrust washer. So now everything is removed. This is a double D style stem. This is the gear here. It's a quarter turn gear. This is a position indicator. You have your open position and your shut position here. These are your adjustment screws for your gear. This is your back plate to remove the stem. Here's your hand wheel bushing. Inside there you can actually see your shaft, your stem or worm shaft. This is a hand wheel. The way it works is you put the hand wheel over the bushing like so. And to close the valve, we're gonna rotate clockwise. So righty tighty. We begin to turn it right it'll start to close the valve and you can you can see and you can see the position indicator moving to open the valve we rotate it counterclockwise so now we're going to look inside of the valve the valve is in the open position we can see the stem position is like this so we want to make sure it matches the gear and that the gear is in the open position so now we're going to take the gear and slide it on top of the stem. So now that the gear is on the stem, we're going to we're going to take our bolts and bolt down the gear. We're going to do that to all four. So now we want to function test to make sure the gear is working properly. So we'll put our hand wheel onto the bushing and we're going to begin to rotate it clockwise to close the valve. So as we rotate it, you can see the position indicator moving. Here's the ball as we are closing the valve. Now the valve is fully closed. The indicator should be in the shut position. Now we're going to open the valve by rotating it counterclockwise and the indicator should come back to the open position. I hope this video was helpful in giving you an understanding on how to mount a gear operator onto a ball valve. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more valve videos. Thank you for watching Everything Valves and we'll see you in the next video.